to start off this project, let me just show you my inspiration. So I went to Pinterest and I went to my high-end board. And these are the shorts that I'm going to try and recreate. They're these gorgeous satin Valentino shorts. Obviously, the first thing I need to do for this project is cut out the shorts. So I laid down this mint green fabric that I got for $8 and I put my shorts pattern on top. This piece specifically is the front of the shorts. And so I pinned it down and cut out two front shorts pieces. After cutting out my two front pieces, I laid down my fabric again on fold and I cut out two back pieces. Next, I pinned each front piece to its corresponding back piece right sides together, and I pinned at the crotch and at the side seams. Here's just a close-up of the pinning. I pinned right here at the crotch and at the side seam, so now I'm just going to sew them up. After sewing those seams, we have to attach the two pieces together. You can see when I lay the pieces flat that there's a curve in each, so we have to sew them together along that curve. The first thing I did is I matched up the crotch seams right side together, and then I pinned on both sides of the curve. So here's what the pinned curve looks like. Over here, this is the front. These are the two front pieces right sides together that have been pinned. And then as you go along the curve, then you get to the back. So these are the two back pieces that were pinned together. And so when you sew all along this curve, then your shorts will be complete. Okay, so I just finished sewing up the shorts. This is the front. So this is actually the curve that I just sewed up. And then this is the back. So right here are the two little pins that I put in to indicate the back. So now they're together. And this is also the curve for the back that I just sewed up as well. So now I think what I'm gonna do is probably put the waistband on yeah 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 i think so okay so i tried on the shorts and they were a little long up top so i just seam ripped down four and a half inches everywhere so on the side seams and in the front in the back i need to put an invisible zipper so i actually seam ripped down ten and a half inches so that i would have enough room to put the zipper so what i'm gonna do right now is just cut off these flaps that i just seam ripped and then we'll be ready to sew on the waistband. I also put pins to mark the middle of each panel. So these two front panels, I put a pin in each to mark the middle of them. And I did the same for the back as well. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna help me figure out the pleats and um, make sure that they're symmetrical on both sides. For my waistband, I wanted it to be five inches wide. The actual width is going to be two inches in the end, but I had to double my desired width and then add an inch for seam allowance, making the total width five inches. It's also going to be 27.5 inches long. So that's 26.5 inches for my waist measurement and one inch for seam allowance. I also ripped the fabric instead of cutting it because ripping it along the grain actually gets you a really straight line. Okay, so I just put a bunch of pins in the waistband and I'll explain each one to you. So the red pin marks the middle of the entire waistband and this red pin is going to match up to the front seam of the shorts. These two blue pins mark the middle of each half of the waistband. So pretty much they're quarters of the waistband and they are going to match up to the side seams of the shorts. Now these four black pins are going to help me line up the pleats on the shorts so that I can make sure that they're directly in the middle of the panels and so that they're all symmetrical. So the pleats are all done. This is one example of what it looks like. So this black pin is the middle of the panel that I marked earlier. And then what I did is I just pinched it until it fit the waistband. 
and then wherever I pinched it, that's where I put this little blue pin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin the rest of the shorts to the waistband just to make sure that it's all in place, and then sew it down. Okay, so the waistband is all sewn on. Here's what it looks like. And then here what the pleats look like. Um, I know that they probably don't look the best right now, but we're going to fix it. It's going to look better soon, I promise. So what I'm going to do now is put the invisible zipper in the back right here. And then once I put in the zipper, I can take the waistband, fold it down, and then sew it down. And I think the waistband will be complete. And then we can move on to the bottom. All right, here what the shorts look like so far. I sewed the invisible zipper in the back and then I sewed down the waistband using the stitch in the ditch method. So you can't actually see the stitching where I sewed down the waistband, which is amazing. Um, the only thing I'm a little worried about is this puckering right here where it goes into the pleat. I think it might just be stretching a little bit. So it's creating these little ripples in the fabric, but I'm not too worried about it. It's okay. So the next line we're going to do is put the cuffs on the bottom to finish it off unless I want to put pockets. That might be the last thing. Pockets are very important. Okay, so these strips of fabric are going to become my cuffs. So they are 28 inches by three and a half inches. Um, what I did is I actually measured all around the leg hole in the shorts and then that's how long I made these strips. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew the ends together and then I think I'm going to just sew this right sides together to the shorts first and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. Okay, so I sewed the sides of the cuff so that it's now a tube and now to attach this I'm going to pin this right sides together to the shorts and then sew all around. Okay, so I pinned the cuff right sides together to the shorts this side is still pinned, but on this side I already sewed it and I also folded it underneath because I'm going to use the stitch in the ditch method to attach this cuff to the shorts. And once I finish sewing it, what I'm going to do is then fold it up again and I'm going to iron this down and that'll be my cuff. And then I think that's where I'm going to stop for today. Tomorrow I'm definitely putting pockets in the sides. Okay, so it's a new day. Um, today I just have to iron the cuffs down and sew in the pockets and then we'll be done. Now to make the pockets, I laid out my fabric and I placed my hand on the fabric, making sure my wrist was lined up with the edge and that my hand was pointed at a downwards angle. I then cut out four pocket pieces in total, so there would be two pairs. And I made sure that the pieces in each pair were right sides together because they are going to be sewn right sides together. I had to create an opening for the pocket, so I measured the width of the pocket and marked that width on each side seam of the shorts using pins. I then seam ripped a hole from one pin to the other and pinned each pocket piece right sides together to the shorts in that hole that I just created. Here are the pockets pinned. They're obviously right sides together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew along each on the side seam and then I'm going to put these inside the shorts and then sew along the curve to seal up the pocket. Here are the pockets after I sewed them all up. This is the inside out of the shorts. So you can see I just finished sewing them up so they're all done.